the awakening. It's lovely to have you here today. And uh, I'm rainbow colors today, rainbow warrior, as you can see. Lots of lovely colors, lots of extensions. I've got the sacral chakra. I've got the, um, let's see, I've got the heart, green, nature kind of creamy, greeny blue color. <laughs> I've got the um, base chakra, which is red today. And of course, I've got the beautiful purple, which is the seven chakra, the crown chakra, connecting me to spirit. And how has your day been today? Mine has been amazing. Absolutely beautiful day today. Spend the day today in nature, in the beauty of nature. Absolutely stunning views, stunning beauty. Saw some deer running around, some Bambi. Oh, that was gorgeous. That was so cool. Just um, relaxing, taking some time out, breathing, listening, talking to people on, you know, on the phone, Zooming, listening to their opinions, how they felt and what they felt and uh, getting some really, really interesting insights, very, very interesting insights into um, what is going on with me and how to use all this stuff for my awakening. Because yesterday, and particularly last night, when I went on to my status on Facebook, I was stunned by the swearing and the language and the darkness was there. People called me all sorts of names. And I was fine. And I'm fine. Because I was in a therapeutic community for nearly two years. And I learned how to let this brush off of me. When people are scared, when you push buttons, you get the fallout. And that's what's going on at the moment. And so, what I want to talk about today is how this affected me, what it brought up in me, and how it's taken me into the light today. To have an absolutely stunning day today, calming down, relaxing, being in nature, having a good cry, letting the trauma come up, and uh, not falling out with people. On the contrary, uh, making some fa fabulous, beautiful new friends, and I'm so grateful for all of this. So, how did this happen? <sighs> okay, well, the reason I was able to go into the light, I'd say, was because one of my friends gave me quite a lot of tough love about something I put out on Facebook. And she was able to empathize with a lot of people when I wasn't. And um, it all started with me putting a message on asking people do you know it mandatory mandatory because there's a petition going out there to say we that they want to bring in a mandatory vaccination now to me mandatory means everybody no matter who you are the legal plan is for all of you to have a vaccination and to me that is no 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 way i'm not having that <laughs> you know, 20 odd years of holistic medicine and being in the light and knowing how to heal practically everything. Uh, I said, no way. So I contacted the friend, a friend that sent it to me. I said to her, do you know what this means? I, I said, it means that I will have to do what you want me to do and what the government want me to do, regardless of what I feel. And she said, no, you won't. I said, yes, I will. Um, because that's what mandatory means. Sorry, I'm always fiddling with my hair and my hat. I'm going to try and stay calm and just sit there still. And so she said, well, I didn't realize that. So I thought I better put something on my status and say to all these people that are jumping at a vaccine, that is mandatory to understand that that could affect a lot of innocent people that don't want a needle. 
They don't want a needle in their arm and they're entitled to not have it because it is a free world. And so it sparked off such a, a disgusting amount of comments that of people that really took it, I don't know how they took it, as if I'm trying to say to them, you can't do what you want, which is completely untrue. The whole thing I'm trying to say here is you do whatever you want and I do whatever I want. Freedom of choice, yeah? But it sparked off this huge, I don't know what. And I just watched it for a while. I mean, beautiful friends of mine got called names just by saying something common sense. Um, they got called a name and it was awful. It was dreadful. That was the darkness. And I started to watch that. And anyway, it didn't upset me too much. Uh, but that friend did upset me that that beautiful friend got hurt and I didn't like that at all. So I rang her up today and I said to her, look, I need to talk to you. Um, she was saying, well, you know, why do you put this stuff out on Facebook? And um, anyway, I don't want to talk about that. What I want to talk about is that I said to her, it dawned on me that I'm a, tra I'm a traumatized child. I am a traumatized child who went through wars and terrorist attacks. And when you go through that from the age of seven to the age of 22, when you leave, you're traumatized and you're numb. You're completely numb. Something inside you goes numb. Stop fiddling with your hair, Lauren. <laughs> I'm just making sure that my lipstick is not smudged today. No, it isn't. <laughs> And so that traumatized child inside me was feeling that it needed to fight and it always needed to fight because it doesn't have any feelings. It doesn't have any empathy for people that it feels uh, threatened by. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I said to her, I feel threatened. And I sat with it and I realized this is not me. This is not the adult that feels threatened. This is the traumatized child that I am that grew up in the wars, the traumatized child that didn't have an opportunity to be free, that lived every day with fear of being murdered in her sleep because that's how I grew up. And that's what the media did. And that's what my culture was of living in Israel and growing up in Israel. As a child, I'm a war child. I'm, I, that's what happens. And I don't want that anymore because it's very difficult to empathize with people when you feel you've got to attack because you were brought up to attack. You were brought up to defend yourself. You were brought up to not let anybody hurt you. You were brought up to attack. So the minute someone threatens that, body that threatens that uh, sense of safety that you have that you've created for years and years now that a needle would disrupt and, and create a lot of problems for this body you jump on that person you attack because that's all you know you don't know anything else that's all you know you attack because that's all that traumatized child knows how to do. And that traumatized child is playing now. That child that wants to have fun now is playing with her hair extensions. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> with her rainbow colors. <laughs> anyway, so basically I sat with it and I thought, I apologized to my friend and I said to her, I'm traumatized. That's how I grew up. So I can't make good decisions at the moment if I'm still feeling so much trauma. So the awakening is all about taking the trauma and putting, which is the darkness coming up. The trauma is leading you into the light. The trauma of what I went through as a child, abuse, wars, terrorism, no one listened to me, no one heard me, is what made me into a person who, when they are threatened, they go into trauma. Trauma, trauma. 
and I felt very threatened. So that's what I do. I fight. When I feel threatened, I, I, I only know how to, to fight if someone comes towards me and fights, then the feeling is I've got to fight back. So I didn't do that. I didn't fight back. I sat back and I thought, I'm going to think about this. I'm not going to put myself in a situation on, on Facebook for people to be unkind to me, to be cruel. Why should I do that? And of course, be horrible to my friends who don't deserve this. So, um, so I got off of it. And I managed to block quite a lot of people. I just block all over the place. I'm blocking people who have no common sense when it comes to trying to understand what mandatory, but the fear in these people, they're going through something called, um, someone explained it to me, when your reality is shattered and the reality, what they know, their reality has been shattered all over the place. It's called uh, some kind of, um, dissidents, oh, I can't remember, they explained it to me, where everything's going out the window and they just cannot compute what's going on. They're very confused, they're very scared. Everything's coming up at the same time. It will come to me, it will come to me where everything is shattered, all their beliefs, all their ideas, all their idols, all their gods, all their, everything they, they everyone they believed in, they more or less sold their soul to these Hollywood stars and they're all coming out as what they really are. We're discovering the scum that they really are and they're discovering what's happening to children and all of this is happening at the same time because they didn't give themselves a chance to be red peeled slowly, slowly and in a more gentle way over the years like I did. So now it's all, they're being attacked from all over. And so when I went on there, I got it. And like a pack of wolves, they jumped on me. Now, the same thing happened in the therapeutic community. And to a certain extent, I haven't learned how to protect myself. I still struggle with that. But on this channel, I will say whatever I want about going from the dark into the light without harming anyone. I'm just telling you my experiences. So anyway, today was a great day for me to let my little child cry. I let all of that come up. I, let, and I said to my friend, how do you think I feel? I've been traumatized. I was in air raid shelters. Um, I thought I was going to be murdered in my bed continuously because that's what I was told all the time. That's how I grew up. And I grew up to defend myself. And I grew up with huge amount of fear. And that, that was my life. That was my consciousness. And she understood then, she understood. And she's going to do an interview with me about my life, which is exciting. So anyway, today I decided um, I had some stuff that I wanted to do and I didn't want to deal with life too much. So as I say, I took some time out, went into nature with my husband, meditated, um, relaxed, listened to people that I wanted to listen to. And it's been an incredible day, absolutely incredible day. It, it was like time stood still. It was like everything just disappeared into nothing. It was like being on 5D in a new dimension, continuously on a new dimension, in the sunshine, feeling so happy, so healthy, amazing, amazing. I'm so grateful for what I know. I'm so grateful that I'm awake. And I'm so grateful that I have friends that are not afraid to give me tough love so that I can face my own demons. Sorry. I just have to keep sitting back comfortably because of my shoulder. And <laughs> so it, it went beautifully today. Absolutely beautifully. It was a beautiful day. And I'm very, very grateful that I was able to tap in to what needed to be taken care of today. I'm really, really grateful for that. And uh, it worked. It really, really worked. So it was brilliant. Absolutely beautiful day. And I was able to deliver something to someone, to give them a little bit more, 
to have some more fun. Uh, I found some stuff in my garage and I couldn't use it. So I delivered it to someone special and they're going to be able to use it to do what they want with their life because it was just lying there. So it was incredible giving all of this from the heart, like a fairy godmother, or I'd like to say a fairy god sister. Because <laughs> today I decided I was 16 years old. <laughs> and why not? This is the awakening. And, you know, and I listened to that person telling me stuff through the door, you know, whatever, talking through the fence about their ideas and I listened and it was fascinating to listen and I'm very happy to listen, but it's, I don't buy into all of it. But we had some, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to have discussions, but you have to also consider a person, that other person's health and, and well-being. And so I apologize if I wasn't able to do that on Facebook yesterday because I went gung-ho and put out a poster that people were very upset about. I didn't make that poster. Somebody else made it and I just put it out there because I'm looking at the whole world and the whole world are going out there and they are de demanding their freedom back and demanding their work. And whatever I say, people are going to say, you're an idiot. How do you know how it feels? Not to, you know, if I say I don't want to end the lockdown, they're going to say, you don't know how I feel. Maybe you, have, you don't have to worry about not having any work or money. If I say that I do want it to end, then I'll get a load of abuse from people saying to me, you idiot, uh, you're going to spread this thing everywhere. And I got someone actually saying to me, this is how frightened people are. And they don't get me at all. They don't get light workers. They don't get people that know how to heal our bodies. We've come from the darkness of suffering huge amount of suffering into the light by knowing how to heal our minds and our bodies we've learned it and it doesn't involve medicine it involves mother nature which used to be medicine until it was contaminated so you're going back to the original medicine until they stick all of this other stuff in it and then that's it for me you know so you go back to nature's pharmacy so one person put on there, if you go to this gathering that people are talking about, um, and um, when people come together in the UK, the same way that people are coming together all over the world, if you go to that, will you sign a waiver that if you get sick, you are going to go to the back of the queue? And I said, hang on a second. I'm not standing in any queue because I don't want to. I don't intend, if I, if I get ill, I know where to go to heal it and I can heal it perfectly well. I know doctors are healing it perfectly well with, with, with vitamins and collodial silver and all the things that we use to heal. <laughs> so it doesn't worry me. But these people are so scared because they see rich people and governments and all these Hollywood stars, they think they're getting tested. They're not getting tested, they're being arrested, okay? You need to wake up. When they say they're being tested, it means they're being arrested, okay? But they see that all these famous people, like the royals and whatever, are being tested, and they think that, you, you know, they said to me, will you go to the back of the queue? Because they're so angry. They want to be tested, and they want to be taken care of with medicine, because it's all they know. And if you're waking up, I'm telling you now that medicine is not the answer. Not anymore, okay? That's what I believe, and that's where we're going. You need to learn how to heal your body. You need to learn how to heal your mind. To me, medicine isn't the answer. It's not the answer, but I'm not going to impose that on you. And I'm asking you not to impose anything on me. I and millions of people know that medicine is not the answer anymore, that we are our own physicians and nature's pharmacy is how we heal ourselves. End of. People don't like that. I'm sorry. 
but I'm not trying to hurt you in any way. But then someone pointed out to me that if they want to, um, that I, you know, I could be a carrier. If someone has got the virus, I could be a carrier. And I, if I go, and, or I could be a carrier from bringing it from somewhere else. Um, and then they're scared that their relatives, if they come near me in the park, their relatives will get sick or whatever. Now, wearing a mask doesn't solve anything because it actually, if this thing was what they're saying it is, it would get in through the mask. So, you know, but I understand that now because someone explained to me they go to take care of their parents. And so they would not go into a big crowd of people yet, even though a lot of people are doing it. They're not ready to do that just in case they become a carrier from someone in, in, in the park and they give something to their elderly parents. Okay, I understand that now. I did not understand it before. Okay, so I understand it and that is coming from the dark into the light. A lot of things were told, me, told to me today which are fascinating as well. I can take some of it on board and some of it I don't want to take on board. But the exciting stuff that we agreed with, we agreed about things that, and if we didn't agree, it cannot harm that person. It cannot harm me because we are entitled to our own views as long as we're not harming another human. That is where I draw the line. If it's harming an innocent or it's going to harm me and my loved ones, then I cannot have that near me. That, that is where I draw the line, okay? And that's what brought up the fear and the anger, and that's what made me say things, or, well, no, not about the mandatory thing. I just asked the question, but people were going crazy because of this poster I was circulating because they're so scared all the time. I get it. They're scared all the time. They don't know what's hit them. And I'm not, but they don't seem to understand that. And so they have to attack you. When they don't understand you, they attack you. But I have apologized now. I'm culling my Facebook because some of those people, that they will have nothing to do with me and my friends. And my mission, which is to take you from the dark into the light. And in order to get you sometimes into the dark, I have to push your buttons. Some people are ready, some people aren't. Anyway, let's pull a card and see what the cards for how to stay sane in a crazy world cards are today. How to stay sane in a crazy world cards. We will find, let's find a card. You can get these cards from me, the 12 pounds, uh, including postage, or you can get them from the Positivity Center, but I'm, I don't know what their online shop is. But once they open, or you can get them from me. You can also get the book Simply Amazing on chapter eight. And yesterday I felt like I was back in the therapeutic community and I hadn't learned my lesson about self-protection and I hadn't learned my lesson about um, stirring it. But then a young mother came on to protect the to actually defend me and said to these people, her life is completely a nightmare because of this lockdown. She can't do anything. She can't look after herself. So she's on her own. Her daughter doesn't get to go to nursery or get taken care of in any way because of this. And she was able to go on there and defend what I said, that it's enough now. We need to be free like the rest of the world. So you see some people stood up for me. I made a lot of wonderful friends and I'm going to be making some fantastic interviews on here in the next couple of weeks, you'll see. I'm going to interview someone who is in Vietnam checking out organ harvesting. And we'll, we'll talk a lot about that because that's got to end. Not just children, but adults. And it's not a conspiracy, he's actually there doing his work. And he's so brave and I cannot wait to interview him. Right. We're going to have the continuation of the Paul Buggy Brighton, uh, the second part. 
I'm going to record that on Sunday evening and pray that I don't lose the footage anymore. God. So me and Angie will be doing that in Two Awake Blondes. Right, we'll do part two. Um, we'll do our best with Zoom. It's not the easiest ways to do interviews, but we will do our best. Um, we also do a light worker's Zoom. Uh, Friday evening, we're going to do a light worker's Zoom if you want to join. You can come in here, you can say what you feel, how, you can talk about your fears. And we do a meditation or a grounding, and then we come through it. If people are have just woken up, it's a good place for them to be. It's full of love and gentleness and kindness. Right, let's pull a card. How? Now, I got that before, so let's use it. How, H-O-W, how. What does how stand for? Stands for how? <laughs> Honesty, openness, and willingness. Today you chose the card which is saying to be honest, open, and willing. In life, if we are not honest with ourselves and others, we will be blocked in life. And we will create more suffering for ourselves. If you don't open up and say how you feel again, you will not feel contented or safe. And you have to be willing to use the messages in these cards and do the things that help to make your life better. If you just read the cards and don't read the cards and don't act in them, they'll not work. So take some action today. Willingness. Take some action from the willingness today. Today, I will be honest with someone and say how I feel so I can feel that I have healthy boundaries and so I can lead a better, more balanced life. So today it's about being honest and saying how you feel. And I don't mean by calling people by disgusting names, just saying, look, I'm scared. I'm scared. You just push the button in me and I'm scared. You really, really, really triggered me. Okay. Instead of throwing abuse on people. Honest, open, as I say, let your heart open. And how would you talk to this other person? Okay, and willing. Willing is you've got to take action. You've got to take some action in some way. You've got to take some action. So you go out there and you do what you need to do. Okay, so today has been all about negotiating the dark and coming into the light. Course in Miracles, which helps me a lot and helps me stay sane and keeps me happy. Today was, I will listen in the peace to the little voice inside me. God's voice speaks to me through the day. Love's voice speaks to me through the day. And I listened, and I listened, and I listened. And I listened to the birds. <laughs> and I felt the sunshine, and it was incredible. Go out and get the sun, guys, because the sun heals. You cannot get... It wipes everything. The sun wipes everything, everything, and it builds your immunity. And you will get well if you're not feeling too good. You will get well from sunlight. The sun is the most important thing here. And we're so lucky that the lockdown here happened in the summer. I feel sorry for my Australian friends. My heart goes out to them because this is their winter. This is our spring and our summer, you know? And so go out. You will feel so much better when you breathe in the sunshine. You got to remember, this is voluntary, this whatever it is. You can go out into your garden. You can sit and breathe in the sun. Lie on the grass. Feel Mother Nature all around you. Pick flowers. I was picking flowers and making little daisy chains. <laughs> they're all dead they've all gone now because they didn't last very long there's what what's left <laughs> um so there you go um you need to go into the darkness allow yourself to feel everything instead of running away and projecting onto other people let it all come up that's what i've been doing today 
giving myself a chance to feel, to feel, to feel. What does it feel like to feel? What does it feel like to be a, a, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old, a nine-year-old, a 16-year-old, uh, an 18-year-old in a country that is continuous wars? What does it feel like when you're taken to Yad Vashem, to a Holocaust museum when you're seven? What does it feel like to, to, to see the atrocities that are pumped into you that this will never happen again? Why do you think I, um, I fight? So it's having empathy from both sides. If you've gone through continuous wars, then maybe you would fight when you feel that your sanity or your life is on the line, you would stand up for yourself. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to end there. Have a beautiful day today. Um, I hope the, this helps you. The awakening, going from the dark into the light, going to the dark, from the dark into the light. Try to understand why you behave the way you do. Are you traumatized from your childhood? Is that what happens? Is that what the fear is? Because most of the time it's in your subconscious and your subconscious is massive and it needs to come up. It needs to come up. It's the only way that we can heal by bringing up the subconscious. So good luck with that. And if you need any help, please contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com or contact me on 07437. 532798, bringing the light and the love, and the hope and the glory back into your lives. Namaste, peace, shalom, salam, shanti. I love you. Thank you.